Now, about 80% of what's taught in schools is presented visually. That's why we're discussing the importance of children's eyesight and natural health today. We're joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Specsavers optometrist Jason Clark. Good morning. Hi, how are you going? Very, very well. Um, I want to know about kids' eyesight because I have three of them, so I obviously have a vested interest in, yeah. in my children and how they see. Uh, what sort of age should we be talking about getting our children's eyesight tested? Well, vision problems can be quite difficult to spot in children, and the problem with children is they're not going to really come up and tell you they've got a problem with their eyes because how they see to them is perfectly normal. Mm. Um, that's where we can help you. We have um, a saying where after eight is too late, and certainly certain eye conditions such as amblyopia known as a lazy eye, if picked up early enough and treated, can be fixed before the age of eight years of age. Okay, so you should, everybody should be looking at getting their children's eyes tested, even if they think their eyesight's okay? Most definitely, and we'd recommend that kids get tested every couple of years, and people as well, and as their adults, can mm. check every couple of years is really important. Because usually it's quite a gradual thing too, so you don't actually notice sometimes that your eyes are going a bit funny until they're very funny. Yep. Uh, what about the eye tests? Are they different for children than they are for adults? Oh, they're a heck of a lot more fun. You know, we can sometimes put kids at ease by sitting them on the parent's knee. We can use pictures of things to, to measure vision and match yeah. letters and things like that. All right, there's an example on screen now. Yep. And sometimes we um, will use special drops in the eyes so we can't get accurate results. Okay, so what sort of drops? Do they, do they make the pupils dilate? Or? Yeah, the, the pupils will get a little bit big mm. and things like that, and then the kid's vision would be more accurately measured. Right, so it's not a scary process for no, them. No, it's not it's scary at all. And the great thing is we do digital retinal photography as part of our tests, and every kid under 16 in Specsavers so get an eye test free every two years. Okay. And the digital retinal photos are a fantastic way of engaging with the kids because they get to see the back of their eye, and we get to monitor their eye health at the same time. I'd be really fascinated seeing the back of my eye, actually. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen it. You can come and have a test. So what are the most common, I do need it actually, what are the most common yeah. eyesight problems that children generally have? Most kids are born long sighted and that means their eyes are having to work more when they're focusing, it's particularly up close. And then some kids might have something like the shape of a rugby ball at the front of their eye, which we call astigmatism, and those kids might mix up N's and H's and things like that. And some kids are getting more short-sighted with the use of these devices, we're seeing more of that. And there is the bigger problem of the 2 to 3% of children who have lazy eyes, where the brain starts favouring one of their eyes over the other. It's a bit like two TVs in your room, one's in focus, one's not, you're going to watch the blurry image, are you? No. And then other kids have this thing where one eye points in a different direction, and that's called a squint. So with the lazy eye, I mean, how do you go about fixing those? Well, we've got to pick it up early for a start, particularly for eight years of age, and we're going to put them in glasses first of all, and if necessary, we might have to do special things like little eye patches on them and do um, special training for them. Okay. Are there any signs that parents should be looking out for that maybe their children do have a problem with their eyesight? Yeah, most certainly. I think as a parent, you know your kids really well. Their behaviour might change. They might start sitting close to the TV. They might start rubbing their eyes a lot, which could mean they've got allergies. They might shy away from things like outdoor stuff if they can't see far away and they're short-sighted. And they might start having problems with their reading and things like that if they're long-sighted. Mm. What about that old saying, I remember my mum used to say it to me all the time, don't sit too close to the TV, you'll go blind. Is there any truth that your eyesight will suffer if you sit really close to the TV? Well, I, th I think the main problem with sitting close to the TV is you're training your eyes to look at things up close and you're forgetting there's a big wide world out there, lots of fun. Mm. Yeah, well, that's true. Electronic yes. devices, you talked about those making children more short-sighted. Are there any other problems attached to electronic devices that you're seeing? Yeah, well, the biggest problem probably with, with kids is about one in five of them are doing up to 35 hours a week on their screens. And I mean, really, we need to slip, slop, slap and get these kids outside, put them in some really cool sunglasses yeah. and get them outside and protect those eyes from the sun as well. So kids need sunglasses? Yeah, definitely. And adults as well, but kids particularly because they spend more time outdoors or they certainly should do. It's funny, and kids are the ones that you don't see wearing the sunglasses generally. So you've bought a few different uh, pairs of glasses in that are suitable for children. Yep. Obviously, they've got to be a little bit more robust than adult ones. Yeah, I mean, my favourite is Star Wars being a 70s model. <gasps> You know, we've no got the spring. Way. We've got the springs. Um, we put special tough lenses in these glasses as well, which also have a UV block as well. Can I have a look at these ones? Do you do these in grown-ups? Well, actually, they did do them in grown-ups. I think there's a real call to do more of them, eh? Star Wars glasses. Yeah. Yep. You have no idea how much in demand these would be. Well, they are really. They're really contagious in classrooms. We have lots of kids coming and wanting our frames because they're so cool to wear. I bet they do. And you mentioned the spring, so that's going to stop them breaking very easily. Yeah, and they're a lot more comfortable to wear as well. And the toughened glass. Obviously important yeah, well, for we children. don't use glass, we use oh, high, it's, it's a plastic material, it's a high density um, material which prevents it from breaking and things like that. And obviously Super a fun. lot of bright colours as well that you have, yep. which is just really going to engage children.
I love these ones. Those pink ones are also very cool. I, I think mind they'd those. suit you quite well, actually. I reckon they would too. If only yeah. my face was just a... Oh, they frozen ones. Yeah. If only my face was a little bit smaller. Um, and so you offer free eye tests, you were saying, for Every children? two years for children under 16 years of age and including their digital retinal photos. Wow, that's... And Great. And the main thing about that is you want to monitor for problems. Yeah, okay? so if you can see if anything's going on going yeah. forward. Well, this has been fascinating. Um, should make these ones and grown up ones as well. Just a little heads up there. Oh, we do have some nice pink ones. Good. I'll come and see you then. Yeah. That is great. That was wonderful news. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for all of that vital information. Get your kids' eyes checked under eight. It's very important. And Specsavers is giving away kids' designer glasses to two of our viewers. Go onto the Cafe Facebook page to find out how to win a voucher for two pairs of designer glasses valued up to $800 each. Jason, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Mel, for having me on the show.